everyone. Welcome to Sunday School. So it's a new month and we have a new verse. So December's memory verse is from Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. And for you little kids, because this is a really long verse, I thought maybe it would be easier to try to remember the memorize the beginning. So, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Can you guys out there repeat after me? Here we go. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. And for all the rest of you, you're going to work on trying to memorize all of it, okay? But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Got it, guys? Monthly right. verse! Read it off I'm going to read it off for us right this second. It's from Jeremiah Jake. 17, 7 through 8. All right. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. It will be like a tree planted by water that sends its roots out by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Mm, that is a good word. Remember that one. I remember it. And this week we have some birthday shout outs. So Porter, Ilya, and Noah, happy birthday to all of you. Hope you guys have a great day. Hey kids, are you ready to sing some songs? I'm ready to sing some songs. Let's do it. But first off, check it out. Look at this. Come on. I told you we were going to be over here this time. We're in Grandma's backyard. Right here. Back from day of our, sledding. Back from our cross country, cross -country skiing, skiing trip. You guys ready to sing? Let's sing some songs. Oh. Uh -huh. 
guys hey, ready for the message? That was, that was a good time. You guys ready for the message? Are okay. you ready? I'm ready. I'm so ready. Dude, this nice perfect. hair. Nice perfect. hair today, Jake. Now I'm ready. <laughs> now he's ready. You guys ready? Alright, make sure you guys listen up, because I have a great message for you this morning. Good one. Alright? Alright, so this week we're going to be learning about the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes. It's story 91 in your Gospel Story Bible book. And we're going to be learning from this. So while I'm reading, just check out the picture and listen along, okay? So as Jesus traveled through Galilee, he healed people with every kind of disease and sickness. Stories about him spread as far as Syria, and big crowds began to follow him everywhere he went. People came from Jerusalem and Judea, but others came from much greater distances, even beyond the Jordan River. One day, seeing the large crowds that were following him, Jesus hiked to the top of a mountain and sat down with his disciples. Then he began to teach the disciples the Beatitudes. As the crowd listened in, each of the nine Beatitudes begins with the words, blessed are. Each one describes a group of people who are blessed by God and then explains why they are blessed. So here are the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And the Beatitudes are all from Matthew 5, 3 through 12. So Jesus had other things to teach his disciples too. You are the light of the world, he said. And, when, and then he used a parable to explain what he meant. When people light a lamp at night, they don't hide it under a basket. Would you do that? That'd be kind of silly. They don't hide it under a basket so that they hide the light. Instead, they put the light on a stand to light the whole house. Just like that, you should let your light shine so that other people can see it and give glory to God. The light Jesus talked about doesn't come from the people themselves, but from God's presence in their lives. When Jesus spoke that day at the Sermon on the Mount, he sp when he spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And that's from John 8, 12. So these Beatitudes, they can seem like a difficult list to follow. If God requires us to have a pure heart, how could we, who are sinners, ever see God? The gospel provides the answer though. Even though we are sinners, spiritually poor and not pure in heart, we can inherit the kingdom of heaven because Jesus lived a righteous, sinless life for us, for you, for me, for all of us. He gives us his sinless life for our sinful life when we believe and trust in him. Once we believe, we have a new desire to follow Jesus. Because of Jesus's mercy to us, we want to be merciful to others. And because Jesus made peace with God for us, we should want to make peace with others. If we didn't have this gospel, the Beatitudes would just be a list of good deeds that we would never be able to do. But with the gospel, this list becomes a pattern for living and following Jesus. So hope you guys learned a lot from that, but let's talk a little bit about it. So I have a few questions for my crowd here. Um, of my family who won't come on video. Um, what is Jesus doing in this picture? 
um, talking to his disciples. And who else is he talking to besides his disciples? Who are all of those other people that came? Disciples. No, there's only 12 disciples. The rest are people that word spread about Jesus, and they started coming from far and wide because they wanted to hear what he had to say too. And why do you think he's high on this hill? So that um, they can see him better. And yeah. Can speak louder. Yeah, so they can see him better, and so he, they can hear him better. So more people can hear and see. And then, what is one thing Jesus teaches the people that day on the Sermon on the Mount? On the, the Mount. Beatitudes. The Beatitudes. Do you remember the other thing? Parable. The parable. What was the story of the parable? Uh, to let your light shine. Awesome. Yeah, good job. All right. So we're going to close in prayer. So I want everyone to close their eyes and bow their heads and open their hearts. And let's just praise God and thank him and ask him for things. Dear Father God, thank you, Lord, for all the kids that come to Sunday school, for the kids in our church, for the families at our church. We really miss gathering together to just worship and praise you. But Lord, we thank you for technology during this time as well. Most of us aren't going many more many places, maybe just off to school or off to work, but we can still be a light for you, Lord. So just be with each of us. Help us to be a light, to share your love, your kindness, who you are, not only to people we come across when we're out, but even in our own homes, because that's where we are the most right now. Lord, during this Advent season, preparing for Christmas, just help to help each of us to remember what Christmas is all about, and it's about Jesus. Lord, thank you for sending your son, and thank you for everything that we have, for our health, for our homes, for our food, and just be a um, with each of the kids and with each of our church members and um, thank you for loving us in your name we pray amen all right bye guys hope you have a great week see you guys next week catch you guys next in week another location somewhere <laughs> around here you're never gonna guess where it is all right see catch you guys, you guys next week the-